Hey everybody, this is Tri-State Ernie, and I want to welcome you back to the channel. Please do me a huge channel, or a huge favor, sorry, but why are you welcome to my channel, but do me a huge favor, make sure you hit that subscribe button at the bottom of the screen, and continue to subscribe to my channel so I can give you more information on Audible Mill News, or whatever news I think is coming out that I need to be reviewing. But nonetheless, right now, let's talk about Hyundai. Um, most of the people that's watching my channel probably already have figured out that I am a Hyundai salesman slash Volkswagen salesman because majority of my cars that you see on my videos are targeted towards Volkswagen or Hyundai. So let's make the topic of discussion on this video, Hyundai. I uh, read an article a couple months back that Hyundai is promising to introduce a bunch of new lines or a bunch of new, uh, I guess, redesigns for their models that's coming up. And I can honestly say that I believe that they are making true on their promise to do so and they're making huge improvements with their vehicles and also adding a lot more features onto their vehicles and not actually raising the price of them that bad. So kudos to Hyundai for that. So what do I mean right now about the vehicles that have been introduced by Hyundai this year already? Well, last year, mid last year, they already had introduced the 2018 Sonata. It was redesigned, added a lot more standard features to it. And like I said in my last video when I showed it, I believe that it was probably one of the best designs they've did so far for for Sasan Auto and also adding a lot of safety features on it and keeping the price still reasonable. The next car that came out this year was a 2018 Accent. The Accent was well, 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 way overdue for a redo or a refresh and I think they hit it out the ballpark by giving it the new Accent a whole new refresh and I think that the design of it, to me, it maybe looked like a little baby Elantra but it was definitely definitely a great design and as far as sales goes for it right now we've been doing really well with it uh, does it have a lot more features than the previous model no i think they may have cut the features down on the base models a little bit no xm radio on the base model you still get bluetooth but you don't get the xm radio you do get cruise control uh, but they did add a standard backup camera which is a great thing too and i think they made it a little bit bigger so that was a great, great idea from Hyundai, and they still made the price reasonable well on that. One backlash that I have heard about that happening is that they took away the option of having a hatchback. This year in 2018, there is no hatchback accents available, and a lot of people love the fact of having a hatchback. You get to have that little storage, but there is a lot more cars that we do have, which was another redesign that came last year, mid last year, and that was the 2018 Hyundai Elantra GT. It got redesigned and it gave it a little bit more sporty look. And to me, they went a little bit German design with it because if you look at the GT and then look at the Volkswagen Golf, I think there's a little bit of uh, similarities to it since I've came here and start working here at the Volkswagen dealership. All in all though, great design, added a little bit more features to it, kept the price still reasonable. So then right now, this is a big talks that's coming that has not been redesigned yet or came out. You have the 2019 big huge fleet i mean it's like their star car that's been around for hyundai for years and that's the 2019 which i'm excited about 2019 hyundai santa fe there if you go to hyundaiusa.com you'll see some information about that and i can't wait to do a video about that but that is going to be a huge huge refresh that's coming that's been long overdue and we really can't wait for that and especially since there is talks that they may come out with a diesel this is something new that here in America that we have not seen from Hyundai and that's introducing a diesel vehicle to their lineup. So that's big, huge talks too. Another car that's coming out that a lot of people have been hearing about, and if you look on Hyundai USA, that a lot of people are a little bit more interested in. You don't really hear that big of a talks to it because honestly, I thought they was gonna go ahead and take that out of the lineup and that is the 2018 Veloster. I did not think that Hyundai was gonna come back out with the Veloster because the Veloster to me was really designed to compete with the Scion. The Scion is now gone. So I thought maybe they would just get away from that car, but no, they have decided to go ahead and redesign it for this year and bring it back out. From the brochures I've seen, they've added a little bit more features, of course. Uh, pricing, I don't know not anything about the pricing of it yet, but it seemed like it's a pretty good refresh. Uh, and the interior of it, of course, is a lot better than it was previously than what I've seen in the pictures. And I will be doing a video about that next, too. So 
that's another update that's coming here soon too and then there's rumors if you look on google youtube uh everywhere else you'll see that the next car may be getting redesigned is the hyundai tucson which is a huge seller right now here at this dealership and probably everywhere else so that's a great upgrade too that's coming so those are some of the things that i think that hyundai is doing great they may they may do on their promise a lot of people are still waiting on the truck uh it has, has it from what i've read it has got uh confirmed that it is going to be made when it's going to be done we don't know yet but it is coming but hyundai usa continue to do what you're doing i love continue to sell your cars love the warranty and just continue to provide great service and continue to update these cars and making them absolutely great for a great price make sure you like i said please hit the subscribe button continue to watch this uh, video or continue to watch this channel and i'll continue to provide great content thanks again hope you have a great day